Nick Massey is um, the bass player of the group, and as you can hear from my voice, I also sing bass in the show. And, uh, and so he was uh, sort of accredited to Frankie's early singing lessons. Uh, he was the guy who sort of coached Frankie early on and, and also was responsible for the arranging of a lot of the music. He sort of just heard it in his head. He never studied um, sort of classically speaking arranging or anything. He just kind of heard it and uh, told the guys where to sing. And he was the one who sort of said, okay, I'm going to put my voice on the bottom because I sing bass, Frankie voice way up tall uh, in the stratospheres and then the other guys in between. So he was responsible, some say, for that iconic Jersey Boys, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons sound, um, which is obviously what made them so legendary. When they came out, I think there wasn't a real um, obsession with the backstage antics of groups. And frankly, they were from the wrong side of the tracks, and so it was a bit of a seedy backstage experience for them. So people weren't interested in that. They just wanted to focus on the music um, and sell the music. And so I think years later, people are getting an insight into just what happened while they were singing these kind of bubblegum tunes like Cherry and Big Girls Don't Cry and Walk Like a Man on stage. Um, the mob ties, the gambling debts, all of the other craziness that was going on backstage, which was pretty dark at times. And I think that's what's really interesting and, and, uh, and their blue collar sort of rise to fame is something that's really stayed with people and really engaged people even years later. I think as you see in the show and in the movie, they struggled for a lot of years to figure out what that sound was and, and there was that missing piece of the puzzle. And Bob Gaudio was that missing piece of the puzzle. And I think that sort of uh, synergy and connection that the boys found when they all sort of came together and, and you see it in the show and the movie when they sing for the first time, it's this, it's this moment. And, uh, you know, I almost wish I was a fly on the wall when that actually happened that first day because, man, you know, when you hear that sound for the first time, you realize, wow, this is it. And this is something different and this is something they haven't heard. This particular group has underscored a lot of people's lives, you know, almost without even knowing it. I think so many people come and see the show. When we did the show, they were like, oh, man, I can't believe how many songs are from them, you know, that the Four Seasons wrote. And it's true, their, their songbook has really just contributed to the American fabric, the American music fabric. And a lot of people, you know, they can remember exactly where they were when they heard Sherry for the first time, or Dawn, or Marianne, or December 63, Oh What a Night. You know, these are all tunes that really resonate with people.